Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me. My name is Dustin Phelps. I'm the design team lead here at Form Assembly. And today I'm going to walk you through a few recent updates of the product, as well as some best practices that all focus on how you can further customize your form experience to meet your secure data collection needs. So the first feature we're going to look at is our new and improved template library, which now hosts over a hundred new templates across a variety of use cases, as well as different verticals. The advanced searching and sorting options allow you to quickly find what you're looking for by checking out the different categories that we have available. So if something catches your eye, you can always click to preview it, or you'll be given a view to check out the form you can also click to test out some of the elements, but if you're interested in using the form, you can do that, which will open it up in the form builder. So from here, we're going to talk about the next new feature, and that is with regards to 15 brand new themes available with our theme editor. So the theme editor had some older themes before, and we cleared all those out and pushed out a variety of new ones that you can quickly click through and find the ones that look best for your use case. All right, so now that you've found one that you enjoy, as always, you can go in and customize that by changing the text, the font, the colors, the sizing, and really make it so that the form represents your branding. Okay, now for our third feature, if you're an enterprise or compliance cloud customer, you can click into publishing and you'll see our new customized URL. So you can configure this by clicking that button and then changing out the ID to something that works better for you. And so if this is around family dentistry, this is configured, everything's good. And if I were to click on this link, I can see my form showing up as family dentistry. All right, so using the template library, our theme editor and the custom URL features, you can create really great customized web forms. But I have three additional tips and tricks for you guys today uh, to keep in mind while you're using our product. So the first is with regards to tags. Don't forget your tags. We recently launched a more robust search, sorting and tagging feature so that you can really take ownership of your form organization. So not only can you apply just one tag, but you can apply multiple tags to a singular form to quickly find what it is you're looking for. The second tip I have focuses around clarity and approachability. So you want to make sure that you keep your audience in mind when thinking about how you want to build these forms. So let's take our form for example. Again, let's make sure that we have clear titles. We want to make sure that we've reviewed all the questions so they make sense. We've gotten our content broken out into sections and then again into different pages. And all of that makes it a lot more digestible for your respondents. And then lastly, we want to be certain that we are unlocking the power of web forms and their dynamic content by adding things like add another patient and this is a repeatable section or having conditionals where if something like other was selected this field would show up lastly always be sure to have some help and hint text so your customers give you exactly the right information that you're looking for okay so this concludes our walkthrough of the recent product updates to help you customize your secure data collection processes with Inform Assembly, as well as some other tips and tricks. So I want to make sure that if you guys need any more information, you can visit us online and reach out to our fantastic customer success team. And until then, happy form building.